So in, in this section, we're talking about absolute value equations and inequalities. We have written these main properties here that we need to know, need to be familiar with, and we're going to see examples for each of these properties. How do they apply? How do we use them? Uh, remember, one of the main things about absolute value is this. I think this will help you. Absolute value measures distance from zero. Absolute value is a measurement of distance from zero. What that means for us, and you guys already know this, you may think of it as something else, but if I say the absolute value of negative 10, <coughs> the answer is positive 10. And don't think the absolute value changes signs. No, absolute value returns a positive value, returns the, the distance. How far away from zero on the number line is the number negative 10? It's 10 units away. When we talk about distance, we talk about positive distance for the most part, right? There are some applications where we do talk about negative distance. That's not what we're doing here. If I say the absolute value of 173, how far away from zero is 173? It's 173 units, right? Okay, now if I ask you to solve I want you to think about this guy. If I have the absolute value of x is equal to 9. Now, this is a variable. That means there's something unknown, and we need to solve this. When we talk about solving, we're talking about finding replacements of the variable that make it true. So the question here is, the absolute value of what number is 9? But maybe an even better question is this. What numbers are nine units away from zero? Nine and negative nine. Well, you, you know this into it. Oh, it's nine and negative nine are both nine units away, right? And that matches up with what we set up here for that first property. That if you have this absolute value, that means that the inside is equal to that constant or the negative of that constant. So it means from here, x is equal to nine or x equals negative 9. And you can so easily see that if you were to graph this. There's 0. Here's negative 9 and here's 9. Both of these guys are 9 units there and 9 units that way. The absolute value of 9 is 9, and the absolute value of negative 9 is also 9. Is that okay with you guys?